Japan has unveiled plans for a new long-range anti-ship cruise missile with interchangeable warheads, the latest development in its bid to deter Chinese missile threats at sea. China now also has warships armed with hypersonic missiles. Asia Times reported in October 2022 that China can now deploy hypersonic weapons on its aircraft carriers and deploy YJ-21 hypersonic missiles on its Type 055 cruisers. Asia Times reported this month on U.S. plans to link Taiwanese and Japanese MQ-9C Guardian drones with a joint system to enable real-time exchange of information. This month, Japan's Ministry of Defense awarded a US$257 million contract to Kawasaki Heavy Industries to develop an anti-ship island defense missile, featuring a turbofan-powered design with a purported 2,000-kilometer range. It also said the missile will use multiple guidance systems through different stages of flight, such as a global positioning system and inertial navigation system during its cruise phase and an infrared or radio frequency seeker during its terminal. Warzone notes that the missile will be 6 to 10 meters long and fly at a high subsonic speed of Mach 0.8. Asia Times noted in January 2023 that launching multiple types of missiles in one strike can improve accuracy significantly, with reconnaissance missiles having high-performance cameras to pinpoint enemy positions, followed by EU missiles to disable enemy radars and other sensors, after which missiles with high-explosive warheads provide lethal damage. The increasing missile threat from China and North Korea, alongside current missile defense limitations, may have prompted Japan to invest in a long-range preemptive strike capability, with the missile threat posed by China now expanding with a maritime dimension. Asia Times noted in May 2022 that China alone has 1,900 medium-range ground-launched ballistic missiles and 300 medium-range cruise missiles aimed at Japan. North Korea also has hundreds of ballistic missiles that can strike Japan. The threat has prompted Tokyo to acquire long-range missiles for preemptive strike capability. Attacking guided missile bases may fall within the scope of Japan's self-defense if there are no other defense options. Asia Times reported in March 2023 that Japan was considering using drones to intercept foreign aircraft intruding on its airspace. This year, Japan will start testing drones to chase warships to measure their performance and functionality. If successful, Japan will next test the drone against the aircraft. Sharing information between Japan and its allies could also increase the lethality of future anti-ship missiles. As Japan has limited long-range ISR and target acquisition capabilities, such an arrangement could offset the capability gap. The arrangement would allow the US and its partners to observe the same images taken by the drones, giving all three access to the same operating images. As and its partners took a hands-on approach to the program to ensure that integration was swift. In addition to island defense anti-ship missiles, Japan is developing other types of missiles to strengthen its deterrence posture against China and North Korea. Asia Times reported in May 2023 that MOD Japan had signed four contracts with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to design and manufacture a range of standoff missiles. These contracts include US$1.29 billion United States dollars to increase production of the Type 12 SSM missile, US$200 million United States dollars to develop the Type 12 SSM land, air, ship launch variant, US$891.8 million United States dollars for mass production of the hypervelocity gliding projectile, and US$436 million United States dollars for the development of a submarine launched missile. The upgraded Type 12 SSM will enter production this year and is scheduled to enter service in 2026, with successive upgrades increasing its range to 200, 900 and finally 1,500 kilometers. Japan also has two hypersonic weapons designs, with the Block 1 HVGP announced for production this year, with an estimated range of 500 to 900 kilometers, fired from a two-round truck-based launcher. The other designs, Block 2A and 2B, have a range of 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers and are planned to be developed from 2023 to 2027 and 2023 to 2030 respectively. 
Japan also plans to develop the Type 12 long-range submarine launched SSM between 2023 and 2027 alongside a new class of submarines equipped with a vertical launch system to fire larger missiles. The limitations of Japan's missile defense systems may have prompted it to invest in preemptive strike capabilities at sea. Ship-launched hypersonic missiles like the YJ-21 can pass through the upper atmosphere for extended ranges, operate at too high or too low altitudes for traditional missile defenses like Aegis and Patriot, and maneuver an unpredictable flight path for increased difficulty. Interception Japan's missile spending may also be due to its vulnerability to a blockade as an island nation, which in a conflict scenario could cut it off from critical imported missile components and stocks. While the US is Japan's main arms supplier, in a conflict scenario, the US would need all the missiles it can produce, potentially leaving Japan with little in reserve.